Once again, we're back. Do you really want another lick? Are you sure about this? I mean, there's 159 to choose from already. We're only on week 160. Let's hear the lick. So that was your lick for this week. It's um, different from last week in the sense there's no chords, so that's all nice. Um, I know some of you really enjoyed the last one, so I'll be doing more of that soon, so don't worry. Um, this one is over, um, a B minor mellow track, which, um, which was one I posted quite a while ago now, actually. But if you want the whole track, it's linked below. Or you can wait until the end of the video where you're going to get like a two minute snippet of that track for you to jam along with as usual. Um, so this is using pentatonics in the key of B minor so we're working through basically shape 1 into shape 2, shape 3 into shape 4 coming down a minor triad, not minor triad, yeah minor triad, minor triad, there you go, um, arpeggio style um, and then finishing with a bend so this one is linking, bending and nice little arpeggio -y bit which you can come down and pick so it's good for hammer-ons and slides and all that sort of stuff so yeah for those that are interested social media is all below come along say hi follow me on those for different things um, and the uh, subscribe button there, there it is, if you want to uh, subscribe, it's around there somewhere. Um, and uh, the card that pops up, probably there, I think, um, is going to be to your backing track, the full backing track, or you can just follow the link below. It's entirely up to you, but as usual, make of it what you will, do what you will with it. They are your licks to play around with. This is merely a suggestion, so I'm going to get on with the breakdown. So with this, it is extremely smooth, it's really nice to play and once you get it, it feels really cool. So, um, what we start off with is shape one of the pentatonics in B minor. Um, and we've got a hammer on from the seventh fret to the tenth fret on that second string. So, then the next thing is you're going to pick the seven, pick the ten on the first string slide to fret 12. Uh, try and take note of the fingers, you can use your little finger or your third finger. Um, I think I'm, I'm using my third finger which makes it easier for me to do, uh, more control in that way I think. Um, so after you've done that slide to 12 on the first string you're back to the second string for fret 10 and 12, pick both, and then slide up to 15 on that second string from the 12. So, then you've got 12, 14 on the first string picked, 15 on the second string, picked again obviously, and then the 12th fret, 14th fret on the first string. So, and then slide the 14 up to 17, and uh, basically you're leaving that for, what is it, it's an eighth note, and then you're going to bend it on the first beat of the next bar without picking it, so you end up with a... Uh, basically that and it's going to be a full tone bend from that 17th fret first string and try and give it a bit of vibrato if you can so when you come back down you're going to pick the 17th fret on the first string as you bring the bend back down and then this is where you come down the uh, minor triad so we've got 14 first uh, string 15 second string uh, 16 third string, 14 <coughs> on the third string, and then 17th fret second string full tone bend to finish with vibrato. And uh, what I did right at the end of the demo, I think I added on, so added on the little finger onto the 17th fret of the first string. 
So you get that nice little sound there. Um, there you go, try that out as well. So let's play it slow for you then. So we have, here we go. One, two, three, four. That's it, so yeah, there you go. Um, next week, not sure what we're doing, maybe something over this track again. It's a nice track to jam along with because it's quite mellow. Um, but for everyone out there, enjoy the weekend. I hope to see you all next week and remember the backing track coming up now. Ta da!